Hello, TK here with uh, this week's picks. What do we start with? College, pro, which ones you want? Yeah, I'll start with college. Hope you made some money last week. I've been uh, doing quite well this year. A lot of uh, really good good insight that I've uh, been able to find out. Well, let's see. Who do we want to play? Well, let's go to uh, Duke and Virginia. What a strange game to start with. Well, let's see. Duke killed Navy last week, which was very good, very hard to do. Virginia is absolutely terrible. They can't, I don't know how they beat BYU, but they are a terrible home favorite. They're laying two, two and a half, three points here. Uh, terrible home favorite. Um, Duke looks really good. They should be able to win the game outright, and if they don't, I just I can't see them getting blown out. If you can stop Navy, you got a good defense. So I look for Duke in this game, uh, getting eight and a half, nine points. Uh, should be a very good one. Again, it's betting against a weak favorite with a pretty good dog. And I know Duke, you know, if they're playing Clemson, Florida State's a different story. But the fact they play Florida State and Clemson helps them here. So I just, uh, I, I just, Virginia's terrible. I mean, I just can't. They just won't blow out anybody. So take take Dukey there. Um, uh, let's go to Florida State and Clemson. Florida State laying three to Clemson. Why is Florida State favored in this game? Can anybody tell me? Anybody? Anybody at all? Tell me why Florida State's favored here. I'd like to know. Clemson beat Georgia at home, I uh, recall, and just don't really. Sometimes it just baffles the mind when the wrong team's favored. Uh, Clemson should be three, four point favorite here. You get Clemson as a home dog. They beat Georgia already. Enough said. Take Clemson plus nine. That's uh, such a joke to me. I mean, I know Florida State's got a young quarterback. Whoop de do. He's Ty Boyd's a senior. They're a senior class, Clemson. They beat Georgia. They will put up points. Um, it's really uh, you're giving me a home dog with Clemson really okay I'll take Clemson in the nine thank you very much um, yeah let's let's find a nice uh, alright let's look at the old ball coach laying seven to Tennessee they killed Arkansas last week I had them uh, Tennessee's just not that good. Um, yeah, I know they would have tied Georgia, but Georgia had a lot of injuries. South Carolina's got the defense. Who knows if Clowney plays? He might, he might not. It's up to him. He'll do whatever he wants. As his draft position slowly lowers because they think he's out of his mind for doing this. But uh, I like South Carolina as a very good road favorite. Tennessee's just not that good yet. I like Butch Jones. He'll be a good coach, but... Again, this is a game South Carolina has to win. They lost to Georgia, making this a must win. They've got a good quarterback, better defense. Obviously, they don't have a problem playing on the road against Arkansas. Take South Carolina, lay the one. Um, uh, let's go to Stanford, UCLA. Stanford laying five, five and a half, six. Depends on where you bet it. Um, boy, I mean, they lost at Utah, which was very surprising. But that shows you how good Utah is. Um, I, I like, I don't know, this, this is a game I really would like the dog in normally. Uh, you get used to laying 12 points. They won at Nebraska. They played Stanford twice last year, so they'll be familiar with them. And they uh, basically... Lost by a field goal. I think one game they'd already. It didn't matter. They had just come off of the USC game, and they they killed USC. So I I look at that game not as strong as the uh, conference championship game, and they lost by three. I I think Stanford and twelve will will hang in there. Uh, they certainly could win the game. I think Stanford is the better team by a little bit because they got more seniors, the All American linebacker. Um, on Stanford. He got banged up a little bit, I saw. 
He hurt his leg last week, so he could be hundred. He won't be hundred uh, percent. I I just in these type of games, I like the points and I like the dog. You know, on the West Coast, two West Coast teams, the time doesn't bother anybody. Uh, I think UCLA in the twelve there. Um, then I'll, you know, since we talked about Utah, I'll talk about them again. Arizona laying four, four and a half to Utah. I got to take Utah in ten. The most impressive win was Utah beating Utah State, not beating Stanford. Utah State's my team. But with that said, I still like they did handle UCLA and lost by seven. They beat Stanford. I don't see a letdown happening. Utah's a very good team. The only reason they've had trouble. Oh, uh, in the past was that they didn't have a quarterback, which they now have. Uh, I like Utah in 10. Uh, Rich Rod, you know, he doesn't play defense. Look at Michigan. Um, Arizona's okay, but they're nothing special. Um, again, I think Utah's the better team in this game. You get 10 points. That's a lot of points. And I'll give you my last game. Fresno State's laying 24 and a half to Vegas. Take Fresno State. Fresno State is a great home favorite. You know he's a terrible road dog. He gave up a lot of points to Hawaii last week. Fresno State at home has the quarterback. Will score 50 points in this game. Vegas will score some, but I, I like Fresno State here, only laying 18. Um, that's about it. The, the, the best dog on the board is Utah, UCLA, um, Missouri's a good dog, Duke. Uh, you're starting to get a better pitcher, Clemson. Uh, you really want to start looking for good, for strong dogs here, because what tends to happen is the teams get injured. Uh, like Syracuse is the dog. Uh, that's about it. But you, these teams start getting injured. The other teams start getting a little bit more cohesive. You get a little better feel for the team. And uh, like I said, you look for weak favorites, uh, Virginia against Duke, you know, or Clemson getting points at home, and you really just, just pound them. Um, there's a few mismatches. Uh, South Carolina, maybe Alabama, I think will cover this week. Um, I don't know, just looking around, LSU, and, you know, hard to say the others. Um, that's about it for now. Uh, Teaser King with my college. Uh, please go to the site, uh, www.teaserking.com. You can see all my picks. Um, ah, for my Baylor fan, I will, I will give the Baylor game. Baylor is just... I'll give you something on Baylor. Baylor is a great home favorite. As soon as I can find them, I'll let you know. They're 32 and a half over Iowa State. I, I, that spreads a joke. Um, Iowa State's a very good team. I mean, they're not great, but I mean, they're in the, you know, in the Big 12. They play Oklahoma, Texas, and they hold their own. They should have beat Texas. Uh, that spreads ridiculous. Um, Baylor doesn't play defense either. Uh, they barely beat Kansas State. I had Kansas State there. And you got to watch those revenge games, everybody. But I, I just like that uh, Iowa State getting 32 points and tees them up to 38. I mean, uh, thank you. Uh, it's all I can say is whoever makes these spreads uh, is crazy. Uh, that's just way too many points. But I know my Baylor guy will take Baylor, so good luck on that one, Mr. Baylor guy. But I just don't see uh, 38 points with a really decent Iowa State team who played Texas even, and Texas beat Oklahoma, and who's Baylor beating by 40 points? They're not Oregon. Oh, yeah, one other comment on Oregon. I don't understand. Oregon lays 40 points and covers every week. It's hysterical. They're laying 39 to a fairly good Washington State team. Granted, Oregon State killed them last week. Oregon's great at home. I, I just I don't know how you lay 39, 33 in a teaser against Washington State. Uh, these these spreads are way too high. I'd, I'd stay away from all these 30s in the conference because they play each other too often. Um, so I just don't buy I don't buy these 30 point spreads. 
Anyway, I uh, wish you good luck, and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, this is the Teaser King signing off, and uh, good luck to you guys this week.